All right, here we go. So today I'm going to process a uh, HDR that a friend of mine wants me to uh, process. Uh, he said he couldn't get it to uh, look good in HDR or really know how to process in HDR. Might just be one of those images that don't look good in HDR. Not all of them do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, do it for him. So he's already given me a zero, a plus two and a minus two exposure uh, image to play with. So I'm just going to go and do all of this. Now whilst we wait for uh, this to happen, I will say that I'm using full resolution JPEGs here. I think the files are about 5 megabytes each and it looks like it's nearly done with merging it to HDR. Okay, now um, it used the preset that I used last time, which if you watch my HDR video you will see that I use this preset. It's actually yeah, the creative filter but with saturation set to zero. As default, it uh, looks something a bit like this. It doesn't look great like that. Photographic. I could go through each and every one of these presets, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to work with it and see uh, what looks best. Now, just looking at this image, I don't think this is really an image that's going to work great with HDR. Certainly not color HDR. Could try black and white, though, and it might look quite dramatic. Not <clears throat> really sure what the person who sent me it's after. So I'll go with colour, or if black and white looks better, I'll assume that he wants that. Okay, so let's have a look at the default filter first. Strength, I'm going to look at colour saturation, just bring that up slightly. Luminosity maybe a little bit. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, this might just not be one of those images that look good in HDR. In fact, this probably looks better without HDR. Photographic, it really uh, bring, makes this darker and it really makes this look lighter. Uh, pen, paint fly. Could try paint fly, but with no uh, color, but with quite a lot of uh, con. Whoops. With a fair bit of contrast. Still doesn't look terribly realistic or great, to be honest. Not really sure if I like that at all or not. Yeah, you see here, these look really quite painted and not very really realistic at all. Uh, surreal, this, I never used that one. And then uh, the default creative doesn't look good. Okay, so this is probably one of those images that doesn't really work very well with HDR. I can't really explain why it doesn't work well with HDR. It's probably just one of those ones that don't. I think if it was just the sky and... Um, Maybe if we didn't have the satellite dish and any of that stuff, maybe it'll look better. So uh, let's go and give it a go. I'm going to put it in Lightroom, and I'm going to try and process it in Lightroom and maybe do a crop on it as well. He did send me a uh, zero exposure one. So there's another image that I was doing. I just need to go and import this into Lightroom. won't be too long. Uh, local disk, users, JSON, desktop. Uh, right. This one looks to me like it might be the zero exposure, which is the one that I want to work with. Okay, so here we go. So this is the uh, original image in Lightroom. I just want to see how this is looking. Um, just as default. I'm not quite sure if he wanted to um, get a nice image of the sky or if he wanted all this at all, actually. So I'm just going to actually uh, crop it a little bit. Hmm, I'm still not sure if that work great in HDR or not. It actually looks alright as it is, and if and I suppose if you wanted one of the clouds, you could just edit this right here, I suppose. And this you could actually make this look quite nice, really bump up the clarity and vibrance here to get some quite surreal looking images. Saturation you can play a little bit as well, I guess. Blacks, that there, and then bring the bring the highlights up a little bit. Uh so I suppose if you wanted one of the clouds, you could do something that looks a little bit like this. When I do uh, photos of weather and that toning, um, when I do um, photos of weather and that, I always quite I always like to make the clouds look quite dramatic. So uh, that that does actually look quite nice. Now, if you wanted to add a little bit of HDR element, you could have a radial blur tool, and then maybe you could make this bit a little either darker or lighter, depending on what you want. That looks quite good there. And then you can add some other radial blurs, uh, filters in Lightroom 
to change things a little bit. But going back to uh, Photomatix and HDR with this, yeah, the photographic filter does look kind of a bit like what I've done here in Lightroom. If you adjust the black and the white points a bit, maybe the white points more so, um, and change the color saturation. I mean, there's uh, an HDR looks there. It looks all right. This isn't. Oh, it is actually using tone mapping. Okay, that's a surprise. I thought this would be using ex um, exposure fusion, but yeah, it looks all right like that. I suppose I'm not. It depends uh, what you want at the end of the day. If you want the sky to be like really dramatic and this to be like silhouette, this works perfect. But if you want the whole thing to uh, be uh, extremely clear, I'm just going to bring out the original image. I believe it's that one. Uh, if you want the whole thing to look clear, so you want the trees to look clear as well as the sky, then I think you would be better off processing this in Lightroom and using the radial blur tool. Let me just uh, show you here. So you'd probably be better off bringing this down a little bit and then uh, with your mask, increasing the exposure here a little bit. You'd be better off doing something a bit like this. Now this isn't going to look great, just just the nature of the image really. In fact, this doesn't look very good at all. You'd probably need to spend some time playing around with the radial blur if you wanted it to all look good. You see here it obviously looks uh, realistic, whereas if in Lightroom you did something a bit like that, you can see the trees don't look very realistic at all. But you could have a play around with this, uh, maybe reduce the strength a bit, but then if you go show more options, uh, smooth highlights, maybe bring them up a bit, black points, white points, uh, the temperature, maybe make the temperature a bit warmer, the gamma, uh, no, it's not going to do a lot. Yeah, in HDR, this is probably just about as good as the HDR for this image is probably going to get. I'll have a look at some more advanced options, shadow smoothness and all that stuff like that. You could change the lighting a bit, natural, I mean, I bet surreal looks pretty awful, yeah. Okay, so to make it look a bit better, you could try and use the natural lighting, and that doesn't look too bad to be honest. I reckon if you uh, processed this HDR then stuck it back into Lightroom it would actually look perfectly okay I reckon. But actually yeah I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna process this HDR. So I'm just gonna click process. I'm gonna say that that's the HDR for the time being. Now I don't want to ramble on too long or make this video too long really because you're gonna get bored. I'm just gonna click done here and then we're gonna save as. We're gonna save it there and that's gonna render this HDR here. Okay, so there's the uh, HDR image, and I'll just do a side-by-side -side comparison, and there's the uh, there's the standard dynamic range. The HDR one does look a bit better, but I wouldn't say this image works absolutely perfectly in HDR. Let's try and put it into Lightroom and see what we can do with it. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to work uh, miracles with it, but we can certainly give it a go. So I just imported that into Lightroom. I'm going to develop and let's just try this out. Okay, so if you've got a bit of contrast, that looks quite a bit nicer. Clarity, vibrant. I don't want I don't really get the impression that the end user wants this to look something like something out of a fantasy movie, which is uh, what most HDR images tend to end up looking a bit like. I mean, it's great if you want stuff to look like a fantasy movie, of course, but you don't always want that. Tones? No, not for this image, really. Okay, and then a oh, little bit of highlight priority. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad in HDR, actually. I reckon that's probably about as good as it's going to get. But this is uh, probably just one of those images that, like I've said about 100 times already in this video, just doesn't look too good in HDR, which is a shame, really. But never mind, quite a lot of images don't look so good in HDR. It's perfectly normal, really. I'm just going to, I'll go and export this just so I can send it back to him, just so I can get some opinion. Okay, and that's already been exported. So we'll just close Photomatix. There's the standard dynamic range image, and this is the HDR and tone mapped one. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of difference. Notably, the details in the trees here have been brought out quite a lot more. Uh, that's all I'm going to say really. I'm going to say that's about as good as it's going to get if you want to color HDR. If you want it to look black and white, just go into Lightroom, click black and white, there you go. Looks alright, but there we go. 
that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to bore you anymore. I probably already have. Okay, bye.